New into stock we have a Mini Countryman. It's a 1.6 Cooper. It's the old four, so it's four wheel drive. It's a five door, 2014 on a 64 plate and has done 35,473 miles. Really good condition. This is just as it's coming. We, we've not cleaned it. It's actually a little bit dusty, but it's just as it's coming. So when Lancer's finished giving it the treatment, it'll, it'll be like brand new. Fuel economy, urban is 28.2, extra urban 46.3, and combined is 37.7. Nought to 60 time of 10 seconds, 120 brake horsepower, top speed of 113 miles per hour, and it's a 16 valve engine. Road tax, six months, 129.25, and 12 months is 235. It's got uh, one or two extras on, as far as I'm aware, and not being a, a mini salesman, but uh, it seems to have the chrome pack, the, uh, the grill, the headlight surrounds, the insert at the bottom there. We've got chrome around the windows and also around the indicators here and the mirror backs. Uh, twin five spoke alloys, chrome door handles, we've got the roof rails as well. Electric boot release, which also serves as the uh, handle to lift the tailgate up. Rear load cover. It's got a split level uh, load area, so you can hide stuff underneath anyway, or uh, stuff that you don't want to get crushed, put underneath. This uh, load cover here, the seats split independently of each other. And this, the centre bit, folds down as an armrest, which I'll show you when we get in the back seat there integrated rear spoiler rear wash wipe the chrome around the windows here the chrome badges and uh, the countryman badge there and then the chrome number plates around with reversing sensors in the bumper now there's, there's quite a lot of room in the back of this mini that's uh, where I have my seat normally, and uh, this is enough leg room without moving the seat forward for the video. So uh, I'm quite impressed. It does drive really nice. The, the seats are nice. It's part leather with uh, charcoal cloth, and then this kind of uh, the centre panels have a, a nice pattern in them. You've got the contrast stitching in the leather. You've got a third inertia reel belt here, which. Uh, <laughs> would be okay for a small passenger and I'm, I'm guessing although I don't know perhaps a child seat but uh, don't don't put child seat in there without checking first don't uh, don't take that directly from me uh, so even the even the headrest and in, in some cars that are a lot bigger you don't get um, seat backs this high so it's, it's really, really nice and comfortable. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Those are the keys. You've got a little blade in there, should the worst happen. Um, slots in the dash and then there's a little start button there. So that's it. I'll just show you the service history. Well, it's a lovely little car. It's got everything going for it really. Automatic and four wheel drive. Just turn that fan down a little bit. It's fairly warm today, got the air con on. So here we go. A uh, little bit confusing mini um, service books. I'm sure they could be simpler. Well, I'm 100% positive that they could be simpler. So there, first the 8th, 2016, 12.933, that's got oil ticked and other bits. That there looks like brake and brake fluid. And then that looks like brakes as well, front brakes. So what's that? Yeah, rear brakes, front brakes there. And then we're back to the proper stuff, the servicing. 30th of the 7th, 2018, 28,057. But to make sense of that service book, we've also got a few bills here. 
and uh, must remember to rip all them up and redact everything so I can't show you these bills but we've got we've got all the bills it tells you what's been done and uh, I'm assuming those are tyres yeah tyres as well so we, we've got all the stuff there just remember to dispose of that we don't want fine in for breaking GDPR rules and get a 193 million pound fine like BA or whatever it is Right, so, well, first of all, I'll turn that uh, aircon back on. So, automatic. Uh, there's, there's a couple of touches in this that, that brings out the kid in me. The first thing is the, is the handbrake, which is like <laughs> the, the throttle on a, a jet. But the other thing I like is that these overhead switches, which again is like a jet. As I say, it does bring out the child in me. But I'd, I'd like to see some more important switches than, than, than that there, so... So you could actually feel like you were doing something. So right, okay. With uh, I'll let this person go past first. Let's see what we've got. So we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel. A good idea, really. The the rev counter there and your information display that moves with the steering wheel, so you can always see it. Sometimes you you move the steering wheel down, it cuts right right in the middle of your. Uh, there goes his alloy 19 plate as well i don't know oh dear me right okay we're off actually i will go a bit further back that's a bit better and then we've got the control here for the backrest mirrors yeah here we go You'll hear some, uh, this road's just been resurfaced though. Uh, the tires are picking up a few chippings. Check the door mirrors. Yep, there, that one's okay. That one's okay too, so just move it up and down. Sometimes the, right, so that, that's, everything's okay there. Um, multifunction steering wheel, you've got cruise on the right, your audio and telephone controls on the left, you've got um, Bluetooth hands free, glasses case here which is a, a nice touch with a mini logo on. As I say, when I got in the back I was pleasantly surprised because it can't really be described as a mini, there's more room in the back and then some uh, family saloons I would say. Paving stone dropped off the back of something there, that's excellent. Another early adopter, probably turning right up there but cocking everybody else up in the meantime. Nice and smooth, no wheel wobbles or shakes or anything. Pandas eventually got to its 60th horsepower there and got above 50. The seats are nice and comfortable, um, sports seats, so built up at the sides, hold you in place. And uh, nice high back too. There are indicators on the left there, wipers on the right. Yep, I, yeah, I could have guessed back there where you were going. <laughs> but even so, starting to indicate half a mile before the turn, that's a nice, uh, nice early warning. I think we'll go here. There we go. Give it some gas. The last one of these four-wheel drive automatics we, we had, oops, um, I took to Scotland uh, to deliver and it was a horrible day, it really, really was horrible and uh, I just arrived at the customer's house in Glasgow 
uh, to come back in a two-wheel drive car and it started snowing. <laughs> so, all the way there, nothing. On the way back, two-wheel drive snow and they were right out in the country in Scotland. This is where the four-wheel drive comes in. Nice corners like this. You can accelerate through them. Actually, I'll just tuck in here. Got a gear stick here. We've got well, you know where you know where the gear stick is, but if you move it over there, you can use it to change up and down just by moving the selector. And also, just put that back there. We've got a sport switch here, so if we click sport on, it shows on the dash it's gone into sport. We'll hold it in gear longer and rev higher than it would normally do. Uh, no interest really in that for me. The radio display is here, your fuel gauge is there. Electric window controls on the armrest here. We'll just get up to 70 and uh, there we go. 70 miles an hour there or thereabouts. Hit the control there as that switch the cruise on. Get up to 70. Which I could do with the steering wheel just a bit further down because I can't see the bottom there, which is telling me 70 miles an hour in the centre there. And cruise is on, and we're doing just over 2,000 revs. Again, no tyre noise to speak of, no wind noise. It's uh, Really, really nice car. Just touch the brake and uh, knock the cruise off. Let's so say, right, looks like we've also got lumbar support here as well.
nice clear displays everywhere. There's your radio there and auxiliary. In fact, I'll just check auxiliary. I just wondered whether my phone isn't paired to it at the moment. I just wondered whether or not we'd be able to uh, get audio streaming. Menu there, telephone, computer configuration. This chap on the inside's getting on my nerves. The mode there, tuner, dab, CD, aux, and USB. So it's not showing uh, streaming there, which isn't a huge problem because there are apps you can get that play music through the, the telephone system of your phone, so you still get the, the benefit. To be honest, the music that's on the radio these days, uh, I uh, listen to audiobooks mostly. Right, we'll just go around the corner here, look, look at that, with four wheel drive, <laughs> sticks to the curb. And changes direction like a, an angry blue bottle. <laughs> there we go. Just put the sport button on there. There you go. Immediately it changes down. I'll probably just wait for these cars to go. It gives a clear run. Oh, and the lorry. Gives a clear run on the bendy bit. It's going to take them a while, isn't it? So, what else? What? Right, so we've got these black, um, piano black insets to the door cards. Down the side here, you've got imitation carbon fiber, uh, gloss black insets to the, the dash and also around the steering wheel here. Just see there, you've got, there you go, hang on. Let me move this so I can see that better. So I'll put that down there. Even, even down there, I suppose, unless you sat really really high it would be difficult to see that bottom bit but it's showing us we're in drive it's in sport cars done 35,488 just there's your digital readout oh there's a flipping tractor coming now I'm not getting stuck behind him there we go Four-wheel drive really does take it around corners. I'm not speeding, by the way. There we go. Look at that. There we. This is a. a oops! Nearly collected a magpie. Then no magpies were harmed during the making of this video. So nice, nice turn of speed, great handling, reasonably economical, but uh, I don't think you'll be buying one of these. I think it's probably more for the uh, Italian job driving. And 
and uh, I'll finish the test drive round about here just pull over in a, a short while show you how to pay your mobile and uh, how to delete a mobile and if it will stream audio which I don't think it will because not all the vehicles have it uh, I'll show you how to do that too but in the meantime it's, uh, it really is a lovely car to drive you, you just get a feeling with it that you would never lose control 